6. Writers and Lovers. A novel. Casey is blindsided by grief after her mother's sudden death, drowning in debt, and barely making it through her days as a waitress and aspiring novelist. As she struggles to finish her novel, she falls in love with two very different men who can offer her very divergent lives. More than just her man's hinges on her choice, and you'll hold your breath as she decides. 7. It's not all downhill from here. A novel. At 68, Loretta Curry has it all. A booming business, a gaggle of dedicated friends, and a husband who still lights her fire. She's looking forward to her best days yet to come, when a tragic loss shatters her world. This here for me, laugh out loud story is rich with the healing power of friendship. 8. The Mercies. On Christmas Eve 1617, in remote Vardo, Finland, a freak storm wipes out nearly every man in the village. The women who live there must find a way to survive, some in unconventional ways. When witch hunter Absalom Cornet is sent to the village with his young bride Ursa, she develops a special bond with local woman Marin. With echoes of the Salem witch trials, this historical fiction shows how strong women have always fought for survival. 9. Weather. A novel. In a story that feels eerily close to home, we meet Lizzie, a librarian working at the same university where she dropped out of graduate school to help her drug-addicted brother. When her former mentor asks Lizzie for help answering emails to her climate apocalypse podcast Helen Highwater, she's thrown into an increasingly unhinged discussion about what climate change means from both sides of the aisle. 10. Dreamland. Don't sleep on this beautiful novel that twists and turns like the cyclone through Coney Island. Socialite Peggy is sent to spend the summer there, and she's not happy about it that is, until she falls in love with one of the artists on the pier. When bodies start piling up in the summer heat, Peggy has to untangle a web of deceit before she or those she loves end up asleep forever.